In this video, we'll look at whether HI is a strong or weak acid. We know it's an acid because it has that H in front. So that's a good sign that tells us it's probably an acid. There are a few ways we could do this. First, we could just memorize the strong acids. These are the common strong acids and we have the common strong bases. Uh, I'd also probably add HClO3 to this list as well. So if you memorize these and it's not on here, it's likely a weak acid. But on our list right here, HI, hydroiodic acid, says it's a strong acid. So if you have these memorized, that's pretty quick. When we say it's a strong acid, what we mean is that it's fully dissociated in water. It's broken apart completely. So for HI, we have all the hydrogen ions there by themselves. They've dissociated. In the chlorine, it would actually be I minus, the iodide ion. All of those would be by themselves. That's fully dissociated. So since hydroiodic acid, HI, is a strong acid, we would have it fully dissociated. If it were a weak acid like HF, we'd have some of these hydrogen ions here dissociated, but most of them would still be bonded there to the fluorine. So a weak acid, it's only partially dissociated. We could also look at the pKa for hydroiodic acid. We could look that up and we'd see that pKa for hydroiodic acid is about negative 9.5. If the pKa is less than zero, that tells us that it's a strong acid. So in the case of HI, negative 9.5 is quite a bit less than zero. This is going to be a strong acid. This is Dr. B discussing the strength of HI, hydroiodic acid. It fully dissociates, so it's a strong acid. You could also call it a strong electrolyte. Thanks for watching.